What if I told you we were supposed to have a big, big three regarding right after Endgame, and that was changed? Well, there is a writer by Joanna Robinson who wrote The Reign of Marvel Studios, which is a third-party book about Marvel, about all these things that were written, about Kevin Feige's words, quotes from Chadwick Boseman, so on and so forth regarding this great big three. And originally, when she was on the set of Endgame talking with Chadwick Boseman, he said him, Brie Larson, and Tom Holland were super excited because they were going to be the face of the MCU moving forward into Phase 4, 5, 6, 7, and whatever you else thought leading up to, obviously, Secret Wars. But with that being said, how much things have changed, I thought we would go into that today and how exactly I would change this so that the MCU wouldn't be so bumpy as it is right now and possibly going from, you know, the straight up green point where we're going to get making all this money, developing all these characters and how a lot of things right now are just a mess. So I thought we'd go into it. Let's go. After looking at the deal between Marvel and Sony, T'Challa's death and Brie Larson's hate from part of the fandom, it seems to have changed the overall plans for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Looking at the larger picture at hand, it seems it went a far different route. Canceling shows, movies, and shows that nobody asked for, origin films in Phase 4 and 5, and a lack of multiverse in the multiversal saga. How was that supposed to work? Doctor Strange shouldn't have had a 9 film between Multiverse of Madness and where he is going to appear next. We were introduced as a threat on the way and then hey guess what, nothing happened. They said Doctor Strange follow Clea and then nothing's going to happen from that point on. The Marvels. The Marvels if anything and if these rumors are true will show us an incursion finally. A full incursion. Obviously we are shown this in Quantumania but it's not the same thing. Kang should appear everywhere after Quantumania, whether it be post credit scenes, actually in the film, or just the endings. They are really lacking a threat in the department of self-contained films. The reason that this is such an issue is because we don't want self-contained films. We want an overall threat and an overall story building up this saga that once again is called Multiversal Saga. Loki Season 1 took place right after Multiverse of Madness and it's been 5 movies before we got King the Conqueror and 7 before we get to Loki Season 2. But yet, here we go, Thor Love and Thunder, Wakanda Forever, and Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Self-contained stories, arcs over, and characters disappearing. What is the deal with that? Quantum Medium's ending shouldn't have been changed. Even with the ending we received, Scott treated this like a joke and questioned if everything would be okay. It would have worked better to have Kang win and somehow we have Scott contact Carol and the others saying he's stuck in the quantum realm and he needs their help and there's a huge threat on the way. Shiri is MIA and left with a happy ending in a village that we don't know where she's at. Thor, a dad, gone MIA as well on another planet. Peter Parker, forgotten and gone in New York City. Peter shouldn't take seven films to come back and instead we are getting Kraven the Hunter. Once again, nobody asked for this. If he's the chosen one, he needs a sense of urgency. He needs a buildup, he needs to build up a team, and he needs to stop that danger. Carol Danvers. Her upcoming film will either make or break her character. Monica. Built up from WandaVision, Kamala Khan, show ended with a direct tease for the Marvels. This film either makes or breaks their stories. If the rumors for the ending is true, then it will be amazing and it will be a build up to Kang Dynasty, but with the low projections of 50 to 75 million dollars, it seems like that film may be in deep dish of trouble. The best bet, in my opinion, should go as follows. The Marvel, play it out as it is and tease the incursion, send Monica into another universe and introduce the idea of the Young Avengers. Once again, that is fine. Deadpool 3, bring in Wade and Logan via TVA and introduce a tease of Battleworld post credits or the end of the film. Brave New World, Introduce Red Hulk and end with Val teasing a serum with a test subject in a container. Once again though, I don't think that Brave New World is necessary, neither do I believe that Thunderbolts is necessary. Kill off some of their members and have Sentry disappear. Have Kang show up to Val in the credits scene, showing that he's secretly who she's working for or who she's working under and he's running the government. Show he wants nuclear power and to run the world. Make him a huge threat and make everybody afraid of him. Because we, once again, we need variants in every single film. Doctor Strange time runs out. 
Have Strange enter the dark dimension with Clea and find out that she's a black swan and Strange is the chosen one for that part. And essentially what we'll do is we'll have him going around killing universes saving their own. Have him get corrupted but not realize it and in the end credit scene have him and Kang come face to face in front of a planet that he's about to destroy. Then cut it to black kind of like how we'd have a Ragnarok end credit scene. Fantastic Four. End of the film have the TVA take them and tell them they need their help. Reed needs to go with them. Post credit scene. Kang and Strange fighting and the Fantastic Four arrive to them before the end of the battle. Kang Dynasty. Start off with Kang killing Doctor Strange and then have the whole council appear. End with 616 dying and Peter being taken to the TVA, aka the Chosen One. End credit scene should show Toby appear in a room with Hugh Jackman, Wade, w <laughs> I don't know why I said Hugh Jackman, Wolverine, Wade Wilson, the Fantastic Four of the 2005 film, and Hulk 2003. They are greeted by Loki as they're the Universal Avengers under his control. Push back Secret Wars and do a whole two years of Battle World films, pretty much Old X-Men, Fantastic Four, Avengers, and more. And I think it just makes a lot of sense to do something like that because we need this build up before we're essentially going to soft reboot or end with Secret Wars. It doesn't make sense to have this big old build up and then to do nothing. Like imagine Battle World. Imagine having, you know, Tobey Maguire come back and call it like Spider-Man 4 and just have him in Battle World. And then have other characters and have it all building up and this big old threat, villains versus superheroes again, and just keep doing this and doing this and doing this. That's my opinion. Let me know what you thought down below. And as always, I'll catch y'all in the next one.